Deportivo La Coruña Season 5. And today we have had some... Saudi Arabia has raided us. But I'm clever. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I tell you what. We have broken even on transfers. Who would have thought? My channel, break it even on transfers. Never happened. Probably will never happen again. But Saudi Arabia do not like me. Right. Oh, they like us that much. But they're buying all of our players. Right. I'm going to cover up the transfers. Um, So you guys can't see uh, the ins. I haven't covered the outs. Don't worry about that too much. Uh, so yes. So without further ado, let's go back and let's have a look at everything that has happened. I'm trying to find where we have to start. A lot has happened. A lot of players have left. I've gone a bit mental. Right, I'll tell you what's happened. Let's get into it, shall we? Right. That 95, 93 million includes... The transfers for Pellegrini and Martin Pascal. So we're going to go slowly up. As we know, Martinez has actually is now physically gone. He went in January to Arsenal um, for six million. Uh, we're in January. These are all the players that left. Now we're going to get to the part of the summer. Chari, who was a club favourite, a fan favourite, has left us for six hundred thousand. We made a loss on him. He's 31. I'd never really played him last year. And I, I just didn't want him. So, he's gone. Martin Ochoa has also left us. The striker, he was terrible. He never really played her. Okay. Goretzka has now officially left to go to Ipswich. For four million, the thirty-year-old has gone. He 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 has he he has gone. Um, four million. He's got two goals in two games for Ipswich. He had a good ratio for us, but just didn't want him anymore. Uh, Ilyev, here come the Saudis. So Ilyev has gone for twenty million pounds to Saudi Arabia. I rejected the first bid because I wanted to keep him as a backup. Um, he kicked up a fuss. The first bid was. 15 million they then come in with 20 million i was like okay fine next one aiden martin and the same team come in for fucking another one of my players um seven million pounds he has left um he's 30 years, years of age and i wanted money that was it i've got replacement it's fine next up peaky the peaky blinders he has now officially left us on a permanent deal to Huskia. Um, haven't really played for us in like two years, so that's fine. Inacho Leonardo, another player that he was here when we got here. He was in the B team. Okay. Uh, and then Alex Cabronel has officially left us on a permanent deal to Toulouse for just over £1.9 million. I'll explain the ins in a minute. I've gone a bit mental on one player. Yeah. So, also, Jason Weir has now left us on a permanent deal, and he has gone to Aberdeen. Um, he's gone back. Luke Southwood, I have sold to go to Blackpool. He has gone for 200000 Uh Lesunia Cruz, 26 years of age. He is a good player, but it just didn't feel right me... I didn't want him. That is the end of it. I didn't know what him. This one fucking stung. Absolutely stung. I did not want to sell him at all. He was in the last year of his deal. I was going to offer him a new contract. He said, no, I, there's other clubs I want to go to. So the Saudi team come in and they pay seven and 7.75 million pounds for him. And he's gone. Bastard. And now Omar Reki has left as well by going to the same team. Uh, he has gone 
for 7.75 million pounds. He was kicking up a fuss about wages. I wasn't going to pay him more than I was paying him much less than that. I wasn't going to pay him more. I didn't. I did, he wasn't at the ability we needed. And then Paul has left as well. He's gone to Alvarez. Um, I just I wanted one striker for the bench because of the formation we're playing, and I just couldn't find room to have him. I was annoyed at this one that I couldn't get him, but it is what it is. So the ins. Okay, so this is when I have to do this. So, the first player we have brought in, I'm going to do it by price, because I can't remember. I'll put it by date. Um, is a new right back. I brought him before we sold Agu. He was going to go on the bench for a year, uh, and then Agu was then going to be, uh, he'd get a one or two year deal to be go on because of the age. Um, but, as he's now gone, he is now our starting right back. Please welcome Henning Rangim. 19-year-old wonder kid brought in for 10 million. <laughs> Fucking deal. Now he's worth 59 to 69 million. Just, he's crossing shit, but we're, we're teaching him. We're teaching him. Um, Look at his mentals. His aggression, bravery, concentration, decision. He's tackling. He's jumping pace. Look at the pace. He's six foot four as well. This one did give me a bit of a rock on when I saw this. Um, right, next player. I'm putting this back up just in case things go wrong. I'm going to leave that one to last. Right, if you've watched the Reading save, or if you haven't, I have got this player in him, and I wasn't. Yeah, he was free. Please welcome Matthias Gunya. He was free on this one. I paid thirty-four million in the last game in the red and save, bastards. Um, yes, and I tell you what, if you've seen the red and save, you know this player is a bit of a beast. Um, so he's come straight into the team. I tell you why in a bit. Let's go and look at the love next player, shall we? So we'll leave you to last because you're the highest player I've ever bid for. Um, we've got a new goalkeeper. He's taken over from Southwood. He's a backup. He's 26. I think he was free. Yeah, he was free. Okay. Yeah. Um, the next free... Hmm. Now, if you've watched the Premier League, you might know this player. If you've watched European football, you might know this player. Welcome. I can't say his last name. Valesk, Valisk. He went to Everton. Did fuck all. Went to CSK in Moscow. Then went back to West Ham. Didn't really do much. And then played 183 times for Torino. Now, he's going to be a midfielder. He has overtaken. Who did, who did we sell in the midfield department? I can't remember. Someone in midfield. Uh, or a winger. I'm not 100% sure where I put him. It's been a while since the last time I looked at the save. Um, yeah. Now, mm -hmm. I've broke my record signing. You'll understand why in a minute. Please welcome <clears throat> for forty two and a half million pounds from Benfica. I can't pronounce his name. Please welcome. Andres Shalolodrop. Andres. There we go. Even this season, without playing, or pre-season, he's got three goals and nine assists. For the international team, he's been getting goals and assists. I saw him available and he had a release clause. And I triggered that fucker, you can quickly say anything. So quickly. Go rises to 42. I did say 42 and a half. Um, last season in uh, for Benfica, he got 12 goals, 6 assists, 5 player of the matches. Now, 
Debate in the comments whether I've strengthened the team or made it worse. I'm in the middle. I don't know. I think I've strengthened it because this is the formation we're going for. So, there's a few things in here that you need to understand. Puss and Stain, because I can't fucking find anyone better than him. I'm very much tempted to have him as an inverted fullback. Because I know Agu was one that went down the wing, crossed it in. Or an inverted wing back. But he wants to be defending. So we're going to see how wing back goes. If it doesn't work well, we'll put him in inverted and then I can change things up of how it goes. But Alpine's going to be starting up front. Matis Cunha is going to be on the right of the inside forward. Um, Andres is going to be on the left. Becca Becker with Vlasic and McTomney is now going to be the defensive midfielder in the team. He's got a new contract. He's staying for longer. And he wanted to play. So I, I was like, okay, I was missing a defensive midfielder. Looking around, couldn't find anyone better than what we had before. Irritating, put, put Tom Ney in there. Um, Joe Victor and Cilia are going to be there with Familia Castillo. Um, Familia Castillo has to go down as one of the legends of the club at this point. 150 league appearances. Just mental. Um, he's only had one bad season. But if we look at the bench now, we've got German, we've got uh, Crammel, we've got Christian. He is from the Youth Academy. I'm putting more youth in there here this season as well. From the Youth Academy. He's got real good potential on him. May not be light up the world, but he has got good. Then we've got Tutu and Mola. Mola is now going to predominantly be a left winger. Kawesma is staying at the club, but he's going to be that player there, the defensive midfielder. Agwe and Uzan will be the central midfielders. And then we've got Sergio Ramirez from the Youth Academy. I'm training him to be a left-sided inside forward or an averted attacker as well. The crossing's not great, so the inside forward will probably happen more. But he has he has some of the key attributes we need. The passing, the finishing, the composure, flair, off the ball, everything. The work rate needs to get better. Six foot two as well, so big boy. Um, as well. Then we got Renier, who will stay on the bench. Will come on and off. Um, he was a hit or miss whether he will go in midfield or not. Um, but Matthias Cunha and Andres have just taken over. And Luka Jovic, who had a great season last year, um, because of the formation we're playing, is going to be on the bench. And then another youth player, Victor Gala. Um, I looked at him. I liked him. The potential is very high. Um, so him being in and around the first team can play winger. He is going to be trained as a winger. So being in and around there will help him grow. So this is the team. Um, Staff-wise, we're the best um, in the whole of the league. Yeah. Uh, and schedule-wise, today we're going to be playing in Getafe. Um, and then we will move on to probably play Granada and Almira. And then the Champions League will start. Um, looking forward to the Champions League. We're just doing the Europa League with Red NFC as well. And it is really... Also, we're in the Super Copa de España. I don't know what that is. Oh, is this the one that goes to, to Saudi Arabia? Is this the one that goes out to Saudi and you've got to do it in there in January? Yeah. I swear this is... I swear... That, isn't this where, where it's played? Fucking Atletico Bilbao won it. Competition rules, teams, players, task, competitions... Tell you where we're playing over C season preview. So it's between Real Madrid and Barcelona who's gonna be it. But it's between Real Madrid and Barcelona anyway. So we could see ourselves in a final. Um overseas stadiums. <laughs> Don't worry about it. There's no stadiums to play. But we're in the Super Copa de España. So that's pretty cool. We could have a chance there to win a trophy. Um, we're in the Copa del Rey. We're going to be in this. Uh, Valencia have hit the ground running against the Villarreal. So all it is now is seeing how this team now works. We used the formation that I used for my Reading FC save. Um, we've moved it over to this save as well um, because it, it works and it doesn't. 
it's not 100% flawless. It's, it is flawless, isn't it? Um, I've added a few more different things on here. There's a lot much more shorter passing in this one than there is the red in. We're working our way into the box. A little bit more from that. Um, I'm not rolling it out. Oh. It's short tips, it's fine. And you can pass spray it wherever you want then. Uh, a lot higher line, back a bit. Defensive line's on standard with the ready one, it's higher up. Trigger pressing gets stuck in as well. We'll stay there as well. But it's all about here, seeing how we do. Um, I, I, Saudi Arabia, we must have a partnership, or we need one, with a Saudi Arabian league. Because they are gobbling us up like no tomorrow, and they're giving us money, to be fair. Ah! Before we get into the game, about to forget. Hold on. I need to get this up. That's what she said. Hold on. I need to show you guys something. So, this. What you can see here. I'm probably going to cover myself. There we go. What you can see here is we are getting a new stadium. We are getting a new stadium. It's costing 183 million. It's going to be 47,000 capacity. We're at 38. 36, 38 million, a uh, thousand capacity right now. We've also got additional funding for this. 75 million pounds of that is from um, sponsorships. And we will, the board have announced that the, we'll be able to finance the project without having to score any external funding. So the owners and the inside of the club have gathered up enough money to buy this without any problems of any mortgages or banks or anything like that um the additional funding to this project as well there is a stadium sponsorship deal worth 75 million pounds the construction of the amano inglesias alina named after colonius heroes it's named after them but it's not named after me the board are delighted with this so um in 2030 if we're still playing we will be playing inside of a new stadium. Pretty cool, isn't it? Anyway, back to this. Roberto Martinez is still the Catafe manager. Let's see if we can today. I don't think this would be a shock if we won this. I think we've got... I'm, I'm, I'm so excited about the formation we're playing this year. With the players we've got. With everything that we have. It points to being good. Now. If we are, we're about to find out. And that is Velasic. Oh, great save. Right. Here we go. Can we... Right. So the goal for the past two seasons has been Champions League to gather in it. And I think we're, close, we're there, right? I think we're just there. The goal this season is to go a lot further in the Champions League than what we did last year, which is... Not... And there's the goal. And there is shut it up. Has got the first goal for the club. And many more to come. So, the goal this season. Finish automatic in the Champions League spaces. Round of 16 Champions League. Or, Copa del Rey win. We won the FA Cup for Reading. Go back and check it. And that was a trophy down. We win it. We have to win every trophy. Okay? That is one of the rules I have. If we win La Liga, we solely concentrate on the Champions League. You won't see a La Liga game again. If we win the Champions League, you'll never see a Champions League game again. If we win the Copa del Rey, blah, 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 and the Super Copa de España, You'll never see it again. You'll hear about it, but you'll never see a game of it because we've won it. And it's just ticking off all of the trophies. We need a win. Right. We have got a penalty. Who is stepping up here? Number 44. It is... Oh, 14. And there's Andrea's penalty. Second goal of the game. He does have a release... They all have release clauses in their contract. And... His might be a bit mental. But I will not be selling him for any less. 
Cilia. Where are we going with this? Here we go. Matthias Cunha trying to win it back. Cilia. McTomney. Becca, Becca. Alpine's in. Alpine does not want to be outshined by this. That's his 100th career league goal. Is that his 100th just for La Coruña or career? If it's a hundredth for La Coruña, that is mental. No. That's a hundredth legal. Right. If he, that should be fair. He's had 107 appearances. 108, I think, now. And he is by far one of the best strikers I have ever had in this game. No. No, no. Sir Nicholas Jackson. We'll, we'll fight him for that. Right, here we go. I am going to try something. Hmm. I'm going to put him on a vertical fullback. I don't know what this means, and I don't know where he's going to go. Or the positioning. Very short. Cunha. Andredes. But I am interested to see how this looks on the on, on, when we're going forward. That is the only issue. Well, not the issue. One of the things I would like to change. But we go top of the league. Stop the camp. Stop the league. We're done. All right. Long throw here for Familia Castilla. Goes short to Cunha. McTomney. Joe Victor. Ooh, okay, nice pass across. Cunha! And his goal. First goal for the club. He was a task to bring in. I got him in before I got him in. At, actually, no, I signed. Did, oh, I can't remember. But this was. Yeah, no, I did the La Coruña transfers first. So I got him for a free. And then I went down to do the Reading one. And then I saw that he wasn't a free. I had to pay for him. And I went, eh. Eh, well. Right. I think we can safely say um, we're the best team in the league. You watch Real Madrid win 7-0 now. <laughs> just, just so they go, are you really? Oh, God. This is why I hate start of the season by winning. Because it gives me way too much confidence thinking we're actually going to win the league. Real Madrid are drawing. Barcelona losing. We're going to win the league. We're not. We're not. Do not clip that. Do not clip that. Becca, Becca, Andres, Alpine. Oh, oh. Oh, these two are going to be too sexual. Just, oh, look at the... the he could have got his hat trick. And he set it on a plate for him. Look at the Becca Becca. Look, heads it down. First time volley. Oh. Oh, I've had a full on orgasm there. Oh. Oh, why are, we, why are we starting off well? Right, let's make changes. I'm not taking them to him. Matthias Cunha can come off. Uh, let's bring the youngsters on. Oh, fuck no. Switch you two around. What could possibly go wrong? A lot of things. Thank you. Um, Christian. Why not? We are 5 new up. Let's give some of the youth players a little bit of like a debut. Here you go. A little bit of a round of applause there. Their parents are here. They're all having Spanish. Can't think of any Spanish food. My brain has gone fucking numb. But true crime. Really nice. Right, that has been the episode. We have come back with an absolute bang. And we are here. So when we come back in the next episode, we're gonna play a couple of games. Um, to get forward in the season, and then we're going to be playing the Champions League game. We don't need to genuine. Oh yeah, there is a player I am trying to sign. <laughs> I'll show you. Um, he is going back out on loan to the end of next season. Um, 
19, young centre back, good reputation, good youth reputation, very high. Um, yeah, we might not ever see this player, but it'll make me happy that I've signed a very good youth player. All right. I'll see you guys next time for the next episode. We're love with care. My name's been Mark. You guys have been amazing. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, and all of that, all the other good stuff as well. And I'll see you guys very soon.